Hello friends, in this video we will discuss one more section of solids problem, uh, hexagonal pyramid. A hexagonal pyramid side of base 25 mm and axis 55 mm long is with its base on HP such that one of the edges of its base is perpendicular to BP. Being base on HP this is the position of hexagonal pyramid. In the top view we can see the entire hexagon along with the slant edges of OA, OB, OC, OD, OE, OF is cut by a section plane perpendicular to HP and inclined at 45 degree to BP passing through the pyramid at a distance of 10 mm from the axis. Draw the sectional front view and true shape of section. First of all we will confirm what is the position of uh, top view hexagon. One of the edges of its base is perpendicular to BP being base on HP. Being this base on HP I can see this edge. The base which is edge which is on HP is perpendicular to BP. This edge See that this edge is exactly perpendicular to this vertical plane. After rotation of 90 degree what will happen? This edge becomes perpendicular to xy. Now we will see the solution of this problem. Make it as uh, xy. There is no any uh, specific distance. You can maintain any distance for this x second. And being section plane is inclined to vp. After uh, drawing the section plane only we can say which is the remaining portion and what is the removed portion. So until that we can draw entire hexagon by means of thin lines. Given notations for this all the corners A, B, C, D, E, F. Complete O, A, O, B, O, C, O, D. Because it is entirely visible. And uh, you extend the projectors from the top view. Complete the front view notations. The height is 55 mm. Axis height is 55 Still, we are having uh, uh, long slant edges OC, OF on the axis. We can draw by means of continuous thin lines. The front view. And complete notations. As an observer standing here, he may not see this AFE. BCD is visible. A dash, B dash, A dash, F dash, and E dash would be in the bracket. Because it is invisible as an observer standing here. Finally, O dash in the apex of vertex. Is the final position of the solid. Now we will move on to the section plane condition. Section plane inclined at 45 degree to BP and passing through the pyramid at a distance of 10 mm from the axis. They never said from the pyramid on the axis it is from the top you have to take 10 mm or bottom you have to take 10 mm. So simply they say 10 mm from the axis. Whenever this condition is given we have to draw the circle with a radius of 10 mm. Draw a circle with the radius of 10 mm using O as center. Now you can draw a 45 degree inclination line must be tangent to this circle. See here it is tangent to this uh, circle. This is our final position of section plane. Convert to our section plane representation. Continuous thick line. Dot and a small dash at both the edges. This is the remaining portion of the solid. This portion is removed. This B and C is removed. So with this we can extend up uh, continuous thick lines for the remaining portion of the solid. What are the remaining uh, portion of the solid has to be converted into continuous thick lines. Okay. Afterwards, now I can identify the section plane cutting points. A, B, it is cutting at this point as 1. I marked it as 1. Correspondingly here it is A dash, B dash in the front view. Make it as 1 dash. Next, this is uh, OB. In OB, here the section plane cutting point, R2. We can extend the projector it, until it touches corresponding O dash, B dash in the front view. Make it as 2 dash. Okay. Next one is O dash, OC. Here, this is OC slant edge is cut at this point. Still, it is perpendicular to uh, the plane XY. We may not uh, identify what is the distance in the front view. For that, we can mark O as center, this point 3 as radius, draw an arc. The outermost slant edge is O dash D dash. OD, correspondingly OD here. You extend the projector until it touches this O dash D dash. Now, you can shift this point to O dash C dash by making a projector parallel to XY. Making a projector parallel to XY, finish 3 dash. After touching point of this P dash, you can draw a line which is parallel to XY to meet O dash C dash, this is point 3 dash. Last point, here CD is cutted at this point, make it as 4, to extend the projector until it touches the corresponding C dash D dash in the front view. This is C dash D dash, join 4. 
dash. Okay. Finally, still this O dash uh, C dash F dash is still uh, in thin line. You can check here O to 0.3 is the remaining portion, 3 to C is the removed portion. So we can complete O dash 3 dash by means of continuous thick lines. Being uh, 3 C is removed portion, we have one more edge on the same uh, projector OF. OF is the invisible uh, slant edge while seeing from here. That remaining uh, 3 dash to F dash has to be converted to a hidden lines. Hidden lines because of OF is completely uh, visible remaining portion but still it is invisible. That's why it is converted into 3 dash C dash as a hidden line. Okay. Now you can join all these uh, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash by means of continuous thick line. Do a hatching. This is the this hatching portion is called apparent shape of section. Afterwards, what we can do is after completion of apparent shape of section, uh, we can go for uh, this entire front view is called uh, like sectional front view. We can draw uh, another x1, y1 which is parallel to the section plane. This is x1, y1 which is uh, again parallel to the section plane uh, the same inclination 45 degree now you can draw the perpendicular projector at each uh, section plane cutting point 1 2 3 4 at 1 you measure the distance of x y distance here 1 does exactly on the x y that's why 1 1 is also on x 1 y 1 from 2 you can extend perpendicular projector measure the distance of uh, point 2 from x y measure the distance of point 2 dash from x y Transfer that distance on this x1, y1 using this x1, y1 as reference point. This point as reference complete the same distance on this two projector. Similarly, go for three projector. Here we are having uh, three dash. You measure the distance of uh, three dash from x, y and use this x1, y1 as reference. Transfer the same distance on this projector. Finally, it is four. 4 dash is exactly on the uh, xy on the uh, 4 projector it is marked at the x1 y1 now you can join all these uh, lines all these points of uh, uh, true shape of section 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 by means of continuous thick lines then you do a hatching hatching should be done by means of uh, thin lines with uniform distance between these lines this is the sectional uh, front view this is the true shape of section. The entire new thing for us is in this problem, whenever they say distance of 10 mm from the axis, you have to draw a circle with that distance as radius, keeping O as center. Make sure that this 45 degree inclination line to be must be a tangent to this circle. That is the condition of section plane. And still if you feel any doubts or you have any questions, you can ask through comment box. In the previous videos, we discussed six square prism and square pyramid. If you wish to see those videos, you can check the uh, description box. We will solve some more problems in this section of solids. For that, you can subscribe the channel for further videos. Thank you.